Hi, I've been asked uh, to remind people how these uh, square root questions that actually use squares actually work. I assigned the uh, review on page 30 to get you ready for the first test. And up comes a couple of questions, number four and number eight. Number four is a very straightforward question. I think this one's a fairly easy one. It says to, um, <clears throat> well, actually, before I hit number eight, number four, the, the question is to uh, copy a square onto your grid paper. I don't really care if you copy it or not. And then find the area of each square and then write the side length of each square as a square root. Before we attack the problem, though, remember what square root even means. It means whatever this number is in this bracket, I'd like to know what number times itself makes it. So when I ask you what the square root of 16 is, I'm asking you, well, what number times itself makes 16? And obviously that number must be 4. And this diagram shows that. If you count all the squares here, you have 16 of them. And the area of the square can be arrived at by taking 4 times 4. You can literally just count 1, 2, 3, 4, and see then that the square root of 16 is how long each side is. So it says write the length of each side of the square as a square root. Well, there's your square root, the square root of 16 gives this length of 4. Question number 8 makes it much harder because you can't just count how long these lines are. If I want to find the actual length of the lines of the square, I actually have to figure out how much area the square has. I can't just count because notice it goes from corner to corner, which is not the same as saying it's one unit like it is across. So I have to figure out a way to figure out the area of the square. So making it nice and big so we can do this, this one's actually not a particularly tough one because there's a bunch of different ways to do it. The way that I described in class that might be the easiest is to find the biggest square you can And if you count that up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, well, that has an area of 36. So this area in here is 36. And then that leaves you with four triangles. And you can find the area of these triangles a couple ways. If you remember, you were supposed to learn in grade 7 that the area of a triangle is the base times the height divided by 2. So the base here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The height is 1, 2, 3. And if I divide that by 2, 6 times 3 divided by 2 is 9. Uh, I had a bunch of people in class who didn't remember that formula, couldn't remember doing it in grade 7, or maybe their grade 7 teacher didn't get to it. So I pointed out that, you know, you can just sort of count. If you split these triangles themselves in half, well, that's a whole square, that's a whole square, that's a whole square. That one's half a square, so is that one, and so is that one. So I have 1, 2, 3, 3 and a half, 4, 4 and a half squares on this side. So I'd also have 4 and a half squares on that side once again giving me 9. And since there's 1, 2, 3, 4 of these 9 triangles, the entire area of this square is the 36 in the middle plus 4 9s, which is 72. So that means that the length of this line has to be the square root of 72. And then from there, of course, I can just go, well, the square root of 72 is somewhere between, let's see, I know that the square root of 64 is 8, and I know that the square root of 81 is 9. So it's about halfway between 8 and 9, so I'm going to say it's approximately equal to 8.5. Or, of course, I could take out my calculator and say, oh, calculator, what is the square root of 72? Turns out it's 8.4852813, yada, yada. You get the idea. 8.5 is a perfectly good estimate for me. Please note that's not the only way to find this area. You could find it a, a number of other ways. Um, one of my favorites is you could actually go bigger. Make one big square all the way around it. And go, okay, well, that square is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's 12 times 12, or 12 squared. And then minus these four rectangles here, or sorry, triangles here on each end. And again, the triangles are um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 6 divided by 2, 6 times 6 divided by 2, which is 18. So what is 12 squared minus 4 18s minus these four triangles? And I'll have the shaded square in the middle. Well, 144. Um, 40 plus um, 32 is 72. Turns out to be exactly 72. Same thing we got doing it the other way.
And there's a number of other ways I could have done this. Somebody pointed out in class that, hey, this one's easy to do because I don't have to just go to that big square. I could have even made like a rectangle and figured out that length times width, this rectangle has a length of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and a width of 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's 8 by 4 is 32 in here. And then find the area of these two triangles, which are the same, and those two little triangles here that are different. And if you do that the same way, you're still going to get 72 when it's all said and done. The reason why this one's easy is because notice every single corner here exactly goes through the line of the side of the square. That's not true in the one I put on the back, the one that I said bonus. Aha! How am I going to figure out the area of this square? Notice how some of the dots don't exactly go through corners. So not going to be as easy as the last one. I have to find some triangles here that I can actually measure how long and wide they are, or how base and how high they are. So I'm going to actually maybe use this. Sorry, my board's kind of moving on me. There we go. I'm going to use this triangle here. Let's see if I can move it. Ah, oh, there we go. That's good. I can take that triangle here, and I know it fits there, but if I actually, let's see if I can clone it, clone it, I can actually rotate it and show you that it also goes, uh, oops, rotate it some more, sorry. There we go. That's what I wanted. It actually goes here too. And sorry that my board is a little bit off here. But as you can see, if I were to draw this better, here, I'll draw it better. I actually have all four of these triangles are exactly the same size. And they are all 1, 2, 3, 4 for a base, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for a height, divided by 2. Base times height divided by 2 is the area of a triangle which is 20 divided by 2, which is 10. So this is 10 units big, this is 10 units big, this is 10 units big, this is 10 units big. So I have 40 plus this one middle square here. So my total area of this square is 41. So if I would like to know the length of this side or any of the sides, all I have to do is square root 41.